Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Hans Mok and Aron Nimsevich. This game was played in Austria in 1927. Hans Smok had white pieces and he started with e4, black to move. What kind of defense would Nimsevich play? Nimsovic played knight to c6. Nimsovic defense. Knight to c3, e6, d4, bishop to b4, knight to e2, d5. Transposing to the French defense. e5, black to move. h5, a surprise move. Knight to f4, g6, bishop to e3, and now bishop takes knight on c3. Pawn takes bishop, damaging the pawn structure in the white camp. But it has a good and bad sides. Sometimes black has a problem on dark squares. Knight to a5, bishop to d3, knight to e7, knight to h3, c5, bishop to g5, pinning the knight, c4, bishop to e2, knight from a to c6, bishop to f6, attacking the rook, rook to g8, and Hans Smok castle the king's side. White has more space and also a bishop pair. Bishop pair may not be such a huge advantage because the position is very closed. Queen to a5, queen to d2, knight to f5, rook from f to d1, and now king to d7. The king is moving to the queen's side. Knight to g5 attacking the pawn on f7, rook to f8. White would like to play bishop to g7. And then when rook moves, knight takes on f7. So the knight on f5 must be forced to move elsewhere. h3 intending g4, king to c7, g4, h takes on g4, h takes on g4, and from f to e7, and now king to g2, intending to occupy the h-file with the rooks. Why not bishop to g7? Then rook to g8, and after bishop to h6, knight to d8. Back to our game, king to g2, knight to g8, bishop to g7, rook to e8. Why to move? To take on f7 with the knight or not? If knight takes on f7, then rook to e7. Would you take on f7 or not? Hans Mok played rook to h1. Well, it was possible to take on f7. And now if rook to e7, then knight to d6, and black is advised not to take the bishop. Perhaps bishop to d7 should be played, but if rook takes bishop, the knight to e8 check, winning the rook. Rook to h1 was played. Bishop to d7, finally connecting rooks. Rook to h3, intending rook to f3, rook takes pawn on f7. Knight to d8, rook to f3, rook to c8, rook to h1, queen takes pawn on a2, rook to h7, king to b8. White army is focused on black's king side, but black king is now safe on the queen side. This reminds me of a dog that is barking at the wrong tree. Knight takes on f7. Knight takes knight, rook takes knight, bishop to c6. Well, it looks like that white is better. What do you think? Bishop to f6, and now a5. Wow, 
is this a game changer? This is a very ambitious move. The pawn is going to a1. Will he reach that square? What do you think? Maybe it would be easier in the end game. Well, Hans Mook wanted to make sure that the pawn doesn't reach a1, so he played rook to h1, queen to b2, bishop to g5, rook to f8, rook from f to h7, rook to c7, rook takes rook, king takes rook. The less pieces on the board, the more dangerous the pawn on a file is. Queen to c1, queen takes pawn on c3, queen to a1, and now queen takes queen. Rook takes queen. White's attack failed, and now he must think about the defense. Rook to a8, bishop to d2, b6, king to g3, knight to e7, bishop to d1, as you can see, in a closed position. Bishop pair is nothing special. Bishop to d7, bishop to b4, a little trick. Knight to c6, of course, if pawn takes bishop, then rook takes rook. So we have knight to c6, bishop to d6, check. King to b7, c3, b5, rook to b1, b4, bishop to a4, and now b3. Black has a protected pass pawn, but this may not be decisive if white manages to block pass pawns. Is it easy to block them? The game continued. Bishop takes on c6, check. King takes bishop, g5, rook to a7, rook to b2, and now rook to b7. If a4, then bishop to a3. Rook to b7 was played. At first, you would think that there is no need to play this move, because the pawn on b3 is already defended by the pawn on c4. But this move was a part of a big plan, the plan that made this game very famous. King to f4, bishop to c8, king to g3. Hans Kmok believed that he had a chance for a draw. Black to move. What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Please pause and try to guess the move that Nincevich played in this position. Did you pause? What did you find? Are you ready to see the move? Nincevich played rook to b4. You got to stop and ask yourself what is going on. Did Nincevich blunder? Pawn can take the rook. And this is what happened. Pawn takes rook. What else? If something like f4, then rook to a4, and the rook may come to a1 or a2. So we have c takes on b4, black to move. To take on b4, or to push the pawn to a4. What would you do? Dinsovich played a4. Intending a3. a takes on b4 doesn't work because bishop takes on b4 and white is winning. So this is the move a4 threatening a3 but now b5 check sacrificing the pawn to prevent a3. King takes pawn on b5. Bishop to a3. c3. The bishop and the rook are struggling against three passed pawns. Why to move? What is the best square for the rook? Rook to b1 was played. Surely Hans Mock considered rook to e2. It may be even better. 
depends what black does. The game would continue probably like this. King to c4, f4, king takes on d4, f5, and now black has few different moves available. One is king to d3, pawn takes pawn on g6, king takes rook, g7, b2, pawn is pushed and promoted to queen, so is black pawn, queen takes bishop, queen to d3 check, king to h4, queen to e4 check, king to h5, queen to h7 check, king to g4, d4, and black is still better, but there is lots of fight to be done. Let's go back. Black doesn't have to play king to d3. Black can play bishop to a6, attacking the rook. And one line goes like this. Rook to h2. Pawn takes pawn on f5. e6. Bishop to b5. And I'd rather have black pieces. What do you think? Now let's go back again. Even pawn takes pawn. e takes on f5 is possible. And after e6, b2. Bishop takes on b2. c takes on b2. Rook takes pawn on b2. Bishop takes pawn on e6. And black is better. Okay, let's go back to our game. Hans Mok played rook to b1. King to c4, f4, king takes pawn on d4, king to f2, king to c4, intending d4, king to e1, d4, what a powerful pawn army, king to e2, d3 is asking to be played, but then king to e3 would be played, so we have king to d5, intending king to e4 and d3 then, king to f3, preventing king to e4, bishop to b7, rook to e1, king to c4, discover check, king to f2, black to move, d3, was expected, and it's a okay move. But b2 was played, f5, pawn takes pawn, e takes on f5, e6, black, play the move when white resigned. The move is bishop to c6, white resigned. One line goes like this, e7, d3, pawn is pushed and promoted to queen, bishop takes queen, Rook takes bishop, pawn is pushed and promoted to queen, rook to c8 check, king to d5, rook to d8 check, king to e4, rook to e8 check, king to f4, bishop to d6 check, king to g4, no more checks, and you can hear black pawns screaming, push me, push me, push me. This was an epic end game, wasn't it? What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.